okay so yesterday we learned about like how we can pass different props from parent to child component okay so we, we completed mm -hmm. this thing now we will see how we can actually pass a we will pass the props okay so we'll pass the props but this time we will not pass like string or number any data type okay instead of passing okay. like string and number we are going to pass a component as a props okay a full component right okay so this nice. is the task today so this is like called children okay so when you pass like a component to another component so this is also called like children okay because this the, what you will pass that will be also used in that component as a children so i'll, I'll show you right. like how we can do that let me show you so in the home in the app.jsx okay so in the app.jsx if you see so this is the actual our home base right the home component yeah. okay so in the home we have like url of the image then some title and other things okay, let me run the project first yeah start localhost 3000 okay okay so the main thing is that so when we in the in the app.jsx when you want to show the home page we do this mm -hmm. and if you want to show the about page we just comment this and show the about page like about and uh. in the about do we have anything no we don't have any props and other things so it's fine okay so if you want to show the home we do this if you want to show the about we do this okay so let's say let's for now let's show the home the mm -hmm. our, our thing is that let's say so how many line we have currently here let's say we have div then we have a header then we have this content yeah. and then we have this div then we have footer then is this closing div tag okay mm -hmm. so we have the here three line we have here three closing line okay and this home or this about these things are the children of this whole thing right Oh, yeah sure yeah okay yeah, yeah. so now what we are going to do so we will create a component called layout okay and because let's say uh okay so let me show you first let's say mm, okay let's just do it so that you will get understand what we are doing then we can also uh, explain later so layout.jsx let's say so here so in the from the app.jsx let's take this part and put it over here and after that this part right over here and now if you just see so in the layout if we can do something like this let's remove this thing and just put the layout over here let's say let, ignore this thing okay for now ignore this part ignore okay. this part we previously we had here like three line uh, in bigger project or in real world application there would be like lots of line okay so just assume that like we have like so many lines here and our main goal is to render this home page or show this home page or the ho or the about page the child actually we want to show this inside this layout right so because if we just show this yeah. inside layout it will get this div it will get the header it will get the footer it will get this div right and it will show the um, like the home component over here in the instead of layout uh -huh. right so now what you need to do you just need to take these two things and pass it over here right okay so when we want oh. to show this home that time what we will do so it will take go to the layout first so in the layout what we have so we have a home div first then a, a header and then this class called content and after that the layout right so whatever we pass inside this this is the our parent and whatever we pass as a child this should be visible over here right nice ah, so so, so the layout is like yeah it's like yeah, a tag it's just a, you can now use yeah. it and nest things yeah. within it's just it. a kind of wrapper like the whole application oh that's cool right so that will show so the home component will now show inside the layout component so okay so it, it will not show yet but we need to we are, we are we are trying to do that thing you understand what we are going to do i'm just telling that yeah yeah i think i can see what you're trying to do you're trying yeah. to nest it yes yes yeah so previously we need to re require these three lines of in the like at the top and three lines at the bottom so what we do mm -hmm. we combine the three line and make it like single component so make it cleaner okay fine okay 
so yeah, actually yeah. in react so it's better so <clears throat> how much actually you shrink the code like how much actually you compress the code as much possible okay so there's the right. goal okay yeah, fine yeah. so now if you just see so app is running so in the browser if you just see so as you can see it's showing nothing actually mm. but it should show something let me check layout here okay so in the header we actually in the layout we did not import this thing like header and footer uh, oh yeah 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 so header and we need to input the footer also okay now if you just see as you can see layout oh, here right, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay yeah. so this is working fine like the deep then the header and there is a header as you can see this one okay mm -hmm. and we got the footer also if you just go down okay it's okay the footer i think we need to pass some props or no okay we don't give any text and something let's give some text about privacy contact okay mm -hmm. now as you can see we got our footer here we got our header over here right mm -hmm. and then in instead of that our home page we are getting layout here text okay because right. in the layout we don't actually render this thing like this this okay in the this home component we are passing as a children right so to that to the layout so layout is the parent and this is the children right yeah but what is that um, okay i'm, I'm telling you where is that showing yeah, yeah i will I'll, I'll tell you but just understand this this is a parent right and, yeah it's the parent sure yeah. it's a parent element. and the yeah. home is the child okay child Got we, it. Are, I know. We, we are we are passing this child to this layout right yeah so did you receive that thing here uh you so want to know like pass this yeah. property i don't think so why yeah, would you need so, to do that okay so in the in the footer link we are passing this text right and uh -huh. url so this is the same thing so you are passing here and you need to accept over here did we accept it yet anything mm. no right so oh. we are passing this as a children but we haven't mm -hmm. accepted it uh, I see, I see. Okay? okay so okay, first okay. we need to accept it then we need to use it here so that instead of this text as you can see this is just a text we can render that thing okay? okay so the same thing like in here so what we did so in the props we take the thing first from this here like this about text as a title right mm. and here from the yeah. from this prop just title we are rendering over here right it. yeah yeah so okay first we need to accept it then we need to use it okay the so same thing will be happen over here so first we are in, we are sending from here as a children so when we are passing the normal uh, normal like um, props that time actually we pass like this okay so in the in, inside the tag and when you are passing uh -huh. as a component as a props that time you pass as a children like inside like in the as a child children okay so in between this opening tag and closing tag okay this is the difference between okay. normal um normal props and the children or component props fine up to this is fine oh this is a type of props yeah this is also a props but this is called a component types props a big right. art and this okay. was actually a normal data type props fine okay right okay after this is cool mm, yeah i see okay right. now we need to accept the thing so we will first write here props because everything will mm -hmm. be coming over into, the, into these props right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and here instead of this layout here what we want to do we need to render that props what we did here we just props the title we give render like this right and here we mm. also need to do something like that like props dot so instead of title or something like that because we don't give any any key over here so in the footer we have like title and url but in the mm. layout we don't have something like that okay so this will be so whatever you pass in between this opening tag and closing text closing tag this will this will set a key called children okay so if you just type here children csil oh children yeah, yeah. This is this is you cannot like name something else. This is fixed, okay. This is children, right? Because right. these are ah, children ah. of something. This it's parent, okay. Sure, right. It's a child. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It. okay. So now if right. you just reload, as you can see, we got our home page. Ah, uh, nice. Huh? I see. Yeah, <laughs> past past the children, right? Yeah. Got so, it. Got it. So yeah. That's cool. So so this was our like the parent and whatever you pass as a component as a child. So that we need mm -hmm. to be accept as a props dot children. And if you and, want to pass a normal props you can also pass that here let's say title 
uh, a title let's mm -hmm. say and you can also take this thing so it's the same way so let's say we have an h1 here and inside the h1 we will mm -hmm. type like props 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 dot what tell me oh can you go back to the what was yeah, it called back, uh, yeah. title props yeah, title right title okay yeah. so okay. this is how you can use the normal um normal props also a component type props mm -hmm. fine how many how many children could you have like how many components could you put in there okay let me let me tell you first let's render this thing mm -hmm. okay it's taking some time different okay so the title as you can see the title is here mm. okay so yeah. now the question is how many children we can use here okay so as many as you want let's say we want to as a children as a h1 here a children okay so because okay. this thing will be act as a like simple html okay nothing else so if you so want now will it pass both of them yeah as you can see so this is our home page and if you just reload as you can see a child uh both this and if you want to add multiple it will be available over here okay fine and okay and so you can't just like select one of them like if you say props dot children it just puts everything yeah so whatever yeah, you right. pass inside this opening close tag and the closing tag okay whatever okay. you pass okay. here it will All everything right. will be go in, inside these children here right okay right got it got cool yeah okay so this is called so let me see in the readme so this is called children as as props okay mm -hmm. and these are like right. props as a properties like simple text and number and other things fine but so um do people use the first method more than the children's oh, we need both. method we need, we need both actually so both, let's say okay. uh, in the in the layout let's say we got a title here right so mm -hmm. actually now actually we are seeing like we are doing only one page right we cannot go to like something like slash about like we don't have mm -hmm. something like that okay so whenever we do something like this that time actually let's say so this is our like home page let's say home url okay so that time we will put one url and let's say we go to our about page like this about url mm -hmm. that time i will put a different url but that time actually we will put the whole application as a layout and we will just pass different different title over here okay so we'll need right. like both of the things like we need this one also and we need this one also because when you go to the about page that time actually will not show this home page you will show the about page right right so right. we will we'll okay. see that in future no problem just just understand up to this then whenever we will do mm. that thing you will un understand that thing also okay okay i get it yeah yeah props.children okay okay nice the so same thing just uh, here we don't mention the title and the other things it will be fixed like the children okay mm -hmm. Yeah. okay right. uh, after that what we can do so this is done and okay so now we will see like this is something different okay so uh, before we get into that let me just tell you like what we did till now so if yeah. you have any confusion feel free to ask me okay because if you these are the some basic things okay so if you don't understand or if you have any confusion in this it will be hard for you to understand these things mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so yeah. let's see what we have done so okay so one thing is that so can you tell me like how to render uh, a html or a jsx in functional component what was the like what are what you need to do actually to render a something um a function for a functional component you uh what link, link? okay let's say this is our this is our component light right, right? Mm -hmm. okay what we are rendering actually here can you tell me well, I know we're linking it to we're linking it to the uh, in public. There's the HTML file. No, right? no, 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 no. The question is like this. Let me let me write over Rendering. here. So what? Yeah, th these are some actually some terms. So you need to understand. Okay, that's why I'm asking you. Mm. Then I will tell you. Okay, so what we are rendering from here? Okay, so from this component, not from here. From this component. Okay. Component. We rent. Okay. how do you mean um i guess i don't really understand what you mean okay. by like yeah yeah I'm, I'm telling you okay rendering means actually uh let's say showing in the browser okay mm. so what oh. actually we are showing in, in the browser from this app component this part right this h1 then yeah. this home component this layout these are the things we are rendering right so this is called rendering okay so in the yeah, yeah. so we're rendering everything yeah. we're yes, rendering yes. everything that's not so commented we, we are 
yes so we are rendering this jsx okay so if someone ask you like uh, how a functional component render so you will tell that mm -hmm. a functional component will be a just a function which will return some jsx and whatever he is returning oh, right. that will be ah, okay. rendering the rendering jsx yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, i get it okay so how you are rendering you will returning something from the app the component or the function okay so whatever you are yeah. return that will be rendered in the browser fine right. now right right cool. yeah jsx okay. Okay. okay okay so this was the thing like what we are rendering okay mm -hmm. and to become a functional component what was the like condition just see the th code and tell me what should be the condition to become a component the can the condition to become a component yeah so this is a app component <laughs> right well it should be jsx because it makes it easier right it's easier if it's no, a no, JSX no 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 file. i'm telling you like let's say more precisely like uh what was the what what are the conditions okay so it should be fulfilled to become a functional component don't worry about the class component mm -hmm. okay so this is a functional yeah. component right yeah App. okay so now tell me how this is a functional component explain to me it's a functional component because uh well it, it works just like a like a javascript no 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 so, you don't need that this keyword right you don't no, need no, this. No, no 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 those that thing okay so we will learn about this thing in the maybe in the second session okay so mm. the first component is it should be a function so is it a function yeah okay. this one's a function so yeah it's fulfill the first component first condition right to become a oh. component oh. fine the second condition yeah. is it should return some jsx is it returning some yeah. jsx it is so this is a component okay so you yeah. need to understand right. this thing okay of course yeah i understand i, yeah, okay. I do understand it yeah yeah um, okay fine so yeah then so so this was the how to render so you just return them jsx then that mm -hmm. will be rendered in the browser and yeah. for the component so how it will be a component so in functional component there should be two two things you need to uh, make sure then it will become a component so it should be a function yeah. it should it shouldn't be a class or something else it must be a function okay and the function should return some jsx so this is this is the condition to become a functional component okay so are they in react though is it basically all functions now and no no classes anymore no no are no they yeah. all functions previously actually we use class component but nowadays like 99 percent right. times we use functional component 99 percent okay. okay right right okay. okay so let's say from today or not from today let's say someone writing some code in react today so he will use mm -hmm. functional component he will not use right, right. Fun yeah class component okay 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 so next so that was the thing like we, we see how we can create some component then uh import how we can import and export thing like right, right? So this is mm -hmm. default export. Can you tell me how to import something like named export? So named export just change um, comment out the uh, the bottom one and put export in front of const. Yeah. App. So this That'd is the exporting export. step. And let's say um, so let's say this home actually is a just assume this is a name named export. Okay. So how you will import this thing? So what would be the difference here? What you need to change in line number three? So if this is a named uh... export um you have to make sure it's the same name when you're using it yeah in there's the code. first condition be... yes so this yeah. should be like home exactly home if it is like exported as home okay so that's the first yeah, thing. it can't be, what should be yes what, what's the next um uh, that's that's the main difference that i can remember okay and the second thing is you need to wrap it with the kali braces okay oh right okay, okay. so this, this is the two things so yeah, named yeah, yeah, export yeah. and like import things okay so now then you see like how we can create multiple component and reuse in and reuse in like multiple components just create one and then reuse in multiple and then mm. uh can you tell me like how we can import a css file let's say this global.css file how we can import it yeah just import dot forward slash app dot jsx yeah that would work no 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 app uh, not jsx uh just just app then um no no let's say we want to import this global.css file okay uh, so yeah. and uh, one thing is that maybe i mistake in my previous session when we are talking about so you can import this thing in index.js file also in app.js file okay so both will work okay 
so not only okay. jsx it will also work if you just do it over here okay yeah yeah okay so now tell me how you will do that so let's say we want to import over here like how you do tell me i will type this this global yeah. .css file Import. What do you need to do? Import then, and then I, I'm pretty sure just go straight to dot forward slash uh, global dot CSS. Is that right? Yes. Global dot CSS like that. With nothing global else. Global dot CSS. Yes. So first the import, then the path of the file. Okay. That's mm -hmm. it. Yep. Okay. Nice. Yes. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. as you can see, we did over here. Let's comment it from here, and just import it over here. And let's see it is still working or not. So if you just go there. Is still working okay so we can mm. actually import in both app.jsx in index.jsx because mm. if you just see uh, this is the entry point of our application right so here we actually just take everything inside of from the app and just put it inside our like in the mm. html root id yeah. which have root id okay and if you just put the css over here or if you just put the css over here this is just actually the same thing because we are eventually taking this app.jsx and putting over in this index.js file, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's why you can actually put it in both of them. Okay, fine. Mm. Okay. Okay. So after that, this was the CSS. Then we have to do some designing and stuff. Then the props and the children as a props. So up to this is fine, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now we will do some conditional rendering. Okay. Okay. So okay. let me show you. For that, we will take as a let's say so we'll create a folder called login okay so what we will do our goal is okay let's write over here okay so here so we will create a variable called user okay so if user is logged in mm -hmm. we will show show login page or sorry we will show the home page or if not logged in, if not logged in, we'll show login page. Login page. Okay. So this is our this is called conditional. Conditional means condition. So if user is logged in or not. And based on that, we will show. Render means show. I mean show it something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Render means visible in the like show in the browser. That's that, right, that, right. that's why it's called conditional rendering. Okay. Fine. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now let's see how we can do that. So this is our login. Page. let's create a login page here so login dot let's say um, jsx rfc and we will dot we will not do any kind of styling and other things just we'll just put this h1 as a login let's say okay, okay. just a simple h1 this is a login page okay so main thing is that if he's logged in we're going to show the home component from here and he is not logged in we're going to show this login component okay okay fine so in the go to the app.jsx file and just let's comment everything from here and here we are going to return by default the login right so the login component so now if you just view in the browser so as you can see we are in the currently login piece okay okay yep now let's take a variable called um, is logged in equal by default false so if this is logged in equal false we are going to show this if this is not false we are going to show the home page okay yep mm -hmm. okay so now we'll write if normal javascript okay so if okay is logged in equal equal false so what we are going to do we are going to return from here login component okay mm -hmm. so as you can see mm -hmm. This is normal JavaScript, but in eventually yeah, yeah. what we are returning, we are returning a component or JSX. Right, okay? I see. Yeah, because just like a function. That's why it becomes it. a functional component. Yeah, if you yeah. just return mm -hmm. something like one, two, three, four, it, it won't become like a functional component. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Okay, else. Else, yeah. So if he is logged in, that time what we want to do? We want to show the return, home return component. Home component. Yeah. Can you use, um, is it okay to use ternary? Does that work in uh, Yeah, yeah in it, will work, it will work. I will first understand this, then. Okay. easily then we we'll, can modify the code or make the code more cleaner okay now as you can see it's fine fast initially login page but if you just change this logged into true it will show the home page okay so this is our nice. source and other things right so this is called actually conditional mm -hmm. rendering so based on some parameter or the variable you will render one component or the other component okay okay fine understood this this part of this yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. So now let's see 
yeah so now i will see how we can do that like in ternary operator so we can take this and put a question mark put over here and colon and then take this and just put it over here okay and nice. make sure you need to return this thing okay return for yeah, that yeah. otherwise it will not become a functional component so what we can do instead of if we can do like return here okay yep return based on this condition we are going to do this or this okay yep. so it's working yep fine nice so this is our uh let's see so this is our conditional rendering okay so then we have like state so what is state so if you just go to this login page let's say and here in the app.jsx let's make it false so that we can view the login page in the browser this is the login page okay mm -hmm. so okay so in the in the in the app.jsx okay so this is some variable right actually in this component okay so this is the component so in this component whatever property you have that will change in time let's say this is logged in currently is false other after sometimes maybe it becomes true okay so it's changing right mm -hmm. so this mm -hmm. is the state of this application right this component not application okay so state yeah. is something like some some data that will actually change in time okay so that that's in simple or state yeah okay it and now thing is that let's say we have a button inside all uh, instead of doing like this this let's say do like deep so let's say we have a button over here and we will write here like login now so this was our login page h1 this is our login page this is our home page okay and this is a button called login now so our mm -hmm. task is whenever we click on this login now we are going to change this uh, state or variable whatever you can call it okay so we are going to change this um, uh, state from false to true so that okay. this is uh, instead of showing this login page it show the home page okay right so now right. you just see here so we got this login now if we click on it it's happening nothing happened okay so mm -hmm. whenever we click here we are not going to go into our code and we are not going to change this to true okay so we just click here it will become true somehow i will show you how we do that okay mm -hmm. and after that whenever we do this thing we are going to change this login page to home page okay so that is our task do okay. you understand what we want to do yeah yeah we're going okay, to change okay. the state of the boolean variable i got yeah. it so we are going to change this thing okay so now if you just do a console log here and if you just do like print something like so whatever actually you, you write over here let's say we are writing here rendering rendering app component mm -hmm. okay so if you just go to console and refresh the page as you can see it's telling rendering app component from this app js line number 16 okay so this console log mm -hmm. is printing on our console okay right so yeah. what is happening so whenever you run this application so it's starting from this here to executing the code so it's go like this way okay so okay. it's complete this whole whole like whole function so it got this console log and it prints only once right so how many times it's mm -hmm. console logging the thing only once because whenever it's we reload the page it will reload the application it just do do execute this app component only once okay mm -hmm. yeah and now let's say so what the difference between this normal variable and the state variable okay so we are going to think so see that thing so in the normal variable so actually you cannot change this text okay so if this is a normal like normal variable thing okay but if this is a okay. state variable you can change the thing okay and whenever we change the state let's say this is a state okay so let's say this is logged in is a state and if you are if you just change this uh, false to true okay so what, uh, what uh, after that what will happen so it will actually re-execute the whole application whole app component again okay so let's say uh, currently we have is logged in okay let's write over here so currently what is the value of is logged in false, false. right so we'll type here let's say 
so let's say first we reload the page like here we do a reload okay so then what it will do it will start executing this command okay yeah so after the reload <laughs> it will check like is logged in equal let's say false okay so after that based on this is logged in below what it will do it will show the login page or the home right. page right turn. Yeah, yeah yeah so is logged in is false so what it will show this one or this one because it's false it will show the login page login page right so it's mm. showing the login page okay so now let's say we click on the button click on the button yeah. let me change it yeah let me make it bigger so that you can see it easily okay so now you click on the button what it will do yeah. it changed the is logged in okay so true yeah. true okay and whenever you change this uh, variable and this variable is a state okay so whenever you change the variable it will re-execute the whole thing so everything will refresh yeah. yes it will everything will refresh automatically you don't need to do anything so if you just do refresh wow. again so what it will do so it will come over here like this console log will print fast right and here it will also do the console log okay so that's why we, when we do the refresh over here it is just run once and the console log is printed over here okay uh -huh. fine so this is the console yeah. log and when we click on the button it will run it again <coughs> so it changes the below the state right mm. okay so now what it will do so it will change the below of the text then it will do the console log and then it will here check the condition that um Home what page. is is logged in true or false so if this is true because we change the state below so it will show the home page mm. right mm. yeah Fine? so did you yeah, understand yeah. the process how this will work yeah yeah i get it i'm just surprised that you can change a variable and it will refresh yeah yeah i'll show you how we do that page. Now, okay? Uh, wow. okay so now this nice. is a normal variable so we need to first mm, make yeah. this thing as a state variable okay so how we'll do that so for that we have ah, something right. yeah so for that we have something called like Okay, let's, yeah, so it's running fine. So when you're doing, oh, so if you change a normal variable, it won't do anything then, right? No, no, no. So actually, you cannot change the normal variable here. How you will change this thing because it is actually here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you cannot actually click on the button and do somehow like take this thing and change the thing. It will not work. Okay. So what you need to do? Let me show you. So first, we need to convert this thing into a state. Okay. For that, we need okay. to we need the help of React. So we need to go. To, we need to import something from React okay right. this is the react thing okay so from the react we need to import something this is called use state because we want to state. this this thing we will use this thing to make our normal variable to state variable okay okay so take okay. this thing and what we will do so comment this line because we want to rewrite the thing so we will type const and then we will give something like this array okay so don't worry about this thing mm -hmm. we will understand how what it is and then we will type equal okay instead of doing like that so first you will type use state what were you imported over here okay okay after that you this is a function okay so you just call it right. okay function. and in the function as a parameter you will pass the the first value or the initial value of the state okay so this will create a state for you and you just need to pass a initial value which will be initially the state below. Okay, false. let's give the false here. Right. You do understand up to this? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's, it will uh... actually give you a state here. Let's say <coughs> STSDE. So state. Okay. Got okay. it? Fine. Yeah. And this state actually a array. So you state what this will return. So return an array. So array, right. Okay. So as you can see, if you just hover over it. You can see this is an array sign. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah sure. It's an array, right? Okay. So this so is it's... an array. Okay. And this array has fixed, like fixed two, two component, two property. Okay. Two, two element. We can okay. say two, two yeah. E L E M E N T. Two element. Okay. So the first element is called. Let me write in second line. So first element equal e the actual state. Okay. Actual state. Okay. The first element is state. So how you like? Is it always like, true or false? No, no, no. I mean, I mean, yes, be, it will be always true be or false anything. because you give it like a false value. Okay, you can you can put it whatever you like. Let me let me just tell you. Just go. No, like but like the way. actual state, does it always come up as true or false? Or okay, the be, actual um, state. What I mean is that this was the variable, right? So mm -hmm. what is the value? Like false, 
and if you want to like change the value what you will put like true okay and if you want like you can also like put some string over here no one will ask you that why you put oh, string, string. Right. Okay. Okay, okay so whatever you can put but the main thing is that the first element would be this variable okay yep this is the this is the thing which is holding the value like false true or any other value right mm -hmm. this this variable so the, the in this in the array this array the state array will con yep. yeah the state array will contain two element the first element would be this type of variable okay 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 so the we can say the actual state because this is holding the value right of the state mm -hmm. or we can say like holding the value of the state in the first okay. element okay and the second element would be a function okay which will right. which you will use to change the value of the state okay okay so the first okay. element is what first element is the actual value like false true or whatever you can put over here okay mm -hmm. so this is this will be the initial value just assume right. that let's say this is our state and so whatever's passed in the parameter of u state yeah. yes like so this will be the initially the below of that let's say this is our like that state let's say over here you can call it like anything like const fast element equal like false let's say like something like that okay mm -hmm. okay so let's say this is this is whatever you pass over here it will be show over go to over here okay fine okay yeah and we will got a function as a second element what it will do so it will accept another value from you let's say you are giving here true here and he will take this thing and put it over instead of false he will change it to true okay so you will get these two things from this u state fine now uh, <laughs> what why uh... Okay, okay, let me just show On you. The, how, how did you pass something to the second element? How did you... Um... Okay, okay, okay. Let me show you instead of doing that. Okay. So let's say this is our button. So when we want to click it, we want to change this mm -hmm. false to true. Okay? Yeah. Okay, let's make it like simple on click. On click. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So then we click give you error function. So if you just do a console log here to check it's working or not. So clicked, let's say, and if you just go there and reload the page, is logged in is not defined how it is. Okay, so actually this this is this is the thing we keep it for now yeah. because it's giving some error. Yeah. Okay, now if you just click on login, as you can see, it's clicked, right? Clicked, so right, it's working. Okay. The click is working, as you can see, like five times we clicked over here. Okay, so now let's say what we will do. So we want to see like how we can change this state below okay so it's fast okay so let's print the state let's say here clicked then we will type state and we know the first element would be from the array would be the value what we are pass over here right mm -hmm. yeah now if you just print it or click on here so we, we should say see something like clicked then the value of the state which is false okay clicked click then the false right okay fine up to this mm -hmm. so what you did so the state which is pass getting from the u state and the first element is giving us the actual value up to this is from fine the parameter right it's yeah. in the parameter yeah fine the, the first value okay of the array yeah i understand yeah up to this is fine yeah the first value of the array is um yeah a, a, a index zero would be what you've passed through on the use state, yes, what you yes, passed yes. through in the parameters, yes, yes. false. Okay. Yes, yes, get it. yes, fine. Okay. So now we will talk about the second element, like index one. Okay. Okay. Yep. So what the index one will do, it will help us to change this below what we pass initially. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me do it. So we can say state then one instead of zero. Okay. And this will be a function. So we need to call this thing. Fine. Mm -hmm yeah all right and here we will pass the updated value what we want to pass like true okay okay so we pass this thing okay so after that um, okay it won't be i think show over here you cannot see it but uh, there are some other way we can see that but for now just assume that how we're doing it okay so let's reload it and if you just click as you can see please notice one thing so let me zoom it so uh -huh. 
we render an app component initially mm -hmm. when we reload the page right yep and then we click the button right yeah it show the initial value right uh -huh. and then what we did we change the value to true right yeah so and then what it happened let's you can see the it's rendering the component again so it's executing the whole component again that's why this console log is printed again did you understand the thing yeah sure start again but now that it, it's changed the value to true shouldn't it be showing the yeah page? because we haven't printed anything after this okay so that's why and it, it is it is showing the home page based on the who is logged in not our state right oh uh, yeah right, right so okay. we need to make yeah. it change this is logged into some, um, our state okay so let's do it then okay. you can see it so remove this thing and take our state zero put it over here right so now whenever mm -hmm. this thing would be true it will show our home page right right let's try now so this thing and now if you, as you can see render once because this is the initial rendering and showing this console log up to this sign yep. now if yep. you just click on it what will happen so it will first console log this clicked right mm -hmm. and then it will change the state below so then it will re-render the thing and it will print the console log first then it will check that state below is equal true or false so it will become true and it will show the home page right you understand the concept yeah 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 okay, i do let's, i understand uh, let's click the thing okay so click as you can see it's become home page oh nice as you can nice, see man. so do you understand yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's I actually, do. actually the core thing is in react actually the state okay so this is a very important thing so right so what you can do so you can just try this thing okay so we will not discuss this thing anymore because we need like we need to um do some practice using state in like mm. we need to do actually so many practice so we'll, we'll maybe do another class on this state thing okay so there are right. some, so many use cases using state so for now what i i did you will just try it and if you face any problem i'll help you okay right if you are new to my channel feel free to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for new videos it will help me to grow also it will encourage me to create more videos like this so see you in the next video